first off, I would like to apologize for two things. Number one, I'm very sorry that I haven't been able to upload any videos on this channel in the past couple of months. Well, the main reason for that is because I'm traveling. I'm actually visiting my parents right now and I'm at their house at this very moment that I'm recording this video. Number two, sorry about my voice. I'm actually a little bit under the weather and I'm dealing with the cold right now. But I'm having all kinds of uh, herbal tea and stuff and uh, hopefully I'll get better soon. So when I first came here, my mom told me that there was something wrong with her iPad. This very iPad actually. Then I checked but um, couldn't find anything and um, everything seemed to be working fine. So I asked her to be more specific about this problem. من موقعی که میام تو آشپزخونه مشغول کارم میشم میخوام با بچه ها تماس بگیرم به وسیله فیستان ولی متاسفانه نمیتونم تماس بگیرم تا تو آشپزخونه هم هستم بچه ها هم نمیتونم به من زنگ بزنن حالا علت چیه نمیدونم وقتی که میخوام به وسیله آیپد هم یک ویدئویی را از تو اینترنت مثلا از تو یوتیوب نگاه بکنم یه خورده که نشون داد این قطع میشه بعد اون دایره میچرخه 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 دوباره یه قسمتی دیگر رو نشون میده باز دوباره اون دایره میچرخه و همین وضع ادامه پیدا میکنه خب اینجوری آدم اعصابش بود میشه دیگه خسته کننده است بعضی موقع ها مهم نیست که من کجای خونه باشم حتی ممکنه نزدیک مدم هم باشم ولی یه دفعه ببینی این شبکه قطع میشه و اینترنت از کار میفته اینه که مجبور میشم مدم از برق بکشم و دوباره بزنم به برق تا شبکه برقرار بشه این خب به خود ناجور آخه So from what she said the network engineer side of me tells me that the problem is most likely related to the network or the internet connection, but not the iPad itself. So I'll keep that in mind as I want to start troubleshooting. But the YouTuber side of me tells me that I should record it as I'm troubleshooting so I can make a video about it and share it with you on YouTube. Hopefully it can help somebody with similar problems like this. But before we start, I just want to say something here real quick. As I said in the beginning of this video, I have not been able to upload any videos on this channel for a while. You already know that my channel is sort of a tech channel which is more focused on computer networking. So the videos that I upload here are in that area. But every now and again, I might have some videos that I would call them uh, non-tech videos. For example, if I travel somewhere and visit a new place, I might want to be able to make a video about that place and share it with people on YouTube. Or let's say if I decide to vlog at some point. I don't think if those videos would fit my current channel here because the audience here are expecting to see my computer networking video. And that's actually why I started a whole new YouTube channel for my non-tech videos. Yay! I have already uploaded some videos there and I would really appreciate it if you have a look at my new channel and let me know what you think. The link is in the video description by the way. If you find it interesting, please feel free to subscribe too because it's a young channel and it only has around 160 subscribers right now. I'm actually planning to upload regularly either on the new channel or here on my main channel. Take videos here, non-take videos there. Okay. Thank you so much for listening. Now let's get this started. First of all, I should mention that I was able to reproduce the problems myself, but not only by using her iPad, but also by using my Windows laptop as well as my Android phone. That basically tells me the problem is not related to any particular device or operating system and it can pretty much happen on any device. That's actually good to know and I'll keep that in mind as I continue troubleshooting. Okay, so now let's go to the kitchen and see what's what. She said she cannot use FaceTime in the kitchen, but I'm absolutely sure she cannot use any other internet services here either. Because as soon as we get to the kitchen, the whole Wi-Fi goes down. 
and that is the problem. But because she only tried or wanted to use FaceTime here, she thought that's the only thing that doesn't work here and didn't notice that the whole network was down. Now let's focus on why there is no Wi-Fi in the kitchen. Usually when there is a problem like this, I mean when there is no Wi-Fi in a particular room of the house, it could be maybe because there is or are other wireless devices in that room that are using the same frequency band as the wireless router because this can cause interference and interference is bad. There is a cordless phone in the kitchen as well as a microwave oven. These two actually can interfere with the wireless router. But the cordless phone uses the 5 GHz band and the wireless router is kind of old and uses the 2.4 GHz band. These two use two different frequency bands therefore cannot interfere with each other. The microwave oven on the other hand uses the same frequency band as the wireless router. But the thing is that they actually rarely use it here. And even when it is powered off, there is still no Wi-Fi here. So the microwave oven cannot be the problem either. I have installed a Wi-Fi analyzer app on my phone. This app should scan the environment and show me the available wireless networks around me. I want to check out the channel utilization here in my area and see if our Wi-Fi is maybe on a crowded channel. Because if there are many people using the same channel for their Wi-Fi, then they can interfere with each other, which is not good. But it looks like the channel is not crowded at all. Another thing that we can see here is the signal strength. As you can see, when I'm close to the router, the number is higher than minus 40, which is great. But when I'm in the kitchen, it is less than minus 70, which is bad. I can pretty much conclude that the wireless router is just too far from the kitchen. And that's why the wireless network cannot actually reach the kitchen. The router is installed in a far corner of the house in one of the bedrooms. And the Wi-Fi can pretty much cover all the bedrooms as well as the living room, but not the kitchen. One way to fix this is actually to use a secondary wireless router and set it up as an access point or a repeater. I actually have some videos on those subjects and the links to those videos are in the video description right below the like button. Now let's have a look at the picture again. You can see here that the router is actually installed too close to the corner of the house. It has omnidirectional antennas. That actually means it would broadcast equally in all directions horizontally. Which again it means it would be best to set it somewhere in the center of the house rather than where it is right now. Because right now I'm kind of wasting my Wi-Fi by sending it outside the house. Which actually leaves me with no coverage in the kitchen area. So I just put the router in the living room and that fixed the problem number one. But just keep in mind that sometimes the house might be too big for a single wireless router. And even when you set it in the center of the house, it might still not be able to cover the whole house. And using two or more wireless routers might be necessary. But in my case using one was enough and did the job. Now let's talk about the second problem, which is the videos keep buffering and pausing all the time. This actually right off the bat tells me that probably the network or internet is not fast enough and that is actually why it takes a long time to download and play even a small portion of the video. Sure enough, when I run a speed test, this is actually what I get, which is not good. Now I need to find out where exactly this bottleneck is. Is it somewhere on the local network in the house, or maybe on the internet service provider's side? If it is in the house, is it only affecting the Wi-Fi, or maybe the wired network as well? Essentially, I will need to narrow it down as much as I can. The best way to do that is to connect the computer directly with the cable to the modem and run a speed test. Now if everything is fine, then I would know that the ISP side is okay and the issue is on the local network and I can troubleshoot that. 
but interestingly enough even when I'm directly connected to the modem it is really slow so the problem is either the modem or somewhere on the ISP I better give them a call and have them check it for me <music> It seems like the internet plan that they're on is literally the slowest available ADSL speed in this area. They've been using this for I guess more than 10 years and never upgraded it to anything faster. I just upgraded them to this plan which is going to be more than enough for what they do. And as you can see it has fixed the YouTube video issue. The last issue but definitely not the least one is actually kind of weird and it has nothing to do with the range or speed because all of a sudden the whole Wi-Fi goes down and it is as if there is no Wi-Fi at all. A power cycle on the wireless router would be necessary to fix the problem temporarily until it actually happens again which is about once or twice a day. This weird behavior could be an indication of a faulty wireless router which should be replaced with a new one. Not too soon though because this could be something that I might be able to fix myself. For example if for any reason the router is overheating, maybe something is blocking the vents and it doesn't get enough airflow, it could actually behave like this. But that's not the case with this one because it is barely warm let alone hot. Some wireless routers, when you log into their setup page, you can actually see the CPU temperature. This is gonna give us a better idea of how hot the inside is. But as I said, this one is way cooler than the most of the wireless routers that I've had. So I don't think heat is the problem here. Another time that we might see the same behavior is actually when a wireless router is overloaded. For example, let's say a wireless router is using a very crowded channel to broadcast its Wi-Fi. And there are also too many wireless clients connected to the router. Such a router with such conditions can freeze at any time. But in this case, there are only three wireless clients connected to the router, which is basically nothing. The wireless router is also using channel 11, which as we saw earlier looks like to be in a very good shape. The next thing I would check is the firmware because it could be a bug on the firmware that is actually causing this weird behavior. It is always a good practice to make sure the latest firmware is installed on the wireless router. So if there is a bug chances are they have fixed it in the newest version of the firmware. This particular router seems to be on the factory firmware and has never been updated. So I'm gonna do that and see what happens. It's been a couple of days since I upgraded the firmware and everything seems to be working fine now. So it looks like it had a buggy firmware and replacing it fixed the problem. But if upgrading the firmware doesn't do the trick, then it could be a hardware issue. And if it is still under warranty, maybe they can fix it for us. Otherwise, it might be the time to buy a new wireless router.